this way. Okay. I will read my first poem, will be the one that was in, I think, number 17, um, SQ. It's called Just Married. Just married, sprayed in shaving cream on the back of a blue Volkswagen bug. The couple inside is young, deliriously happy and in love, like we were the day we drove away from the waves of well wishes in that tinny, tiny Renault 10, headed who knew where and with the rest of our lives to find it. Today, we are stalled in this lane of serious traffic behind the blue bug. We are not young, not delirious, not in love. We are just married. <laughs> And now the phantom goddess of noir is not back yet, but I have to explain the poem that I'm going to read was inspired by a festival that Suzanne had created and curated uh, in 2011. Uh, 25 sites, citywide, and uh, it also went beyond city because I know it went to Ventura and it went as far in the other end to Fullerton, which Lynn remembers that. Uh, and so what I learned when Suzanne was putting this whole festival together was there are a lot of people who cannot understand what qualifies a work to be called noir. So I wrote this poem to help clear up some of the confusion. <laughs> And basically what it is, it's a list of elements that you would find in a noir work. And it will help you identify uh, a work as noir. Now, there's a lot of elements, because it runs down the page, so there's a lot of elements. You don't need all of them in a work, but one or two would probably not be enough, so it's a critical mass uh, kind of thing. So when you identify any of these as being part of a work, you can say, it's noir. And coincidentally, that is the title of the poem. It's noir. There's an epigraph. For some people, it's hard knowing what's noir and what's not. Max Bloom. And a dedication. For Max Bloom, who knows? <laughs> if there's a hitchhiker, border crossing, or sudden change of plans, if someone's named Vera, the wall, or Lola Molina, if there's a knife fight, gunfight, or bare knuckle justice, if a guy lights a match with his thumb, if someone's after payback, a payroll, or the lay of a lifetime, if the dead are buying land out in the valley, if there's a car, a cliff, and a claims adjuster, if a wife buys a black veil before she needs a black veil, <laughs> if it's night, if it's raining, if the music's complicit, the drugs are illicit, the whole setup suspicious, if the guy you're rooting for winds up hugging a manhole cover, if even the moon ends up in the gutter, and if nobody ever had a chance to begin with, it's noir. Thank you. <laughs>